Hey guys, welcome to Cruise Outdoors. I'm Olivia. Danny. And today we're gonna be uh, checking out my brand new PCP. I just picked up the Air Venturi Avenger and also doing a little comparison to my old brake barrel here, the Gamo Swarm Maxim. So mm -hmm. let's check it out. Okay, so I'm very new at the um, small game and pest hunting, and so this was my first setup. This is the Gamo Swarm Maxim. It's a 22 caliber, and I had so much fun with this. I definitely killed a couple animals with this <laughs> thing, but it wasn't really cutting it for me. It was uh, sighted into around 60 yards, and that was about its capability. Anything beyond that, it just started to become a little too inaccurate. And then Danny upgraded to the Gauntlet 30, yeah. which really made me decide, okay, I need to step it up now. I need to pull away from the brake barrel. And so that's why I decided to go with this. So you guys have seen this before. This is the Air Venturi Avenger. Um, this is also a 22 caliber. But I decided to get something different than Danny. I didn't want us to have the exact same PCP. Um, this is also my first PCP, so you guys are going to follow along with that and see my journey with this gun. But yes, yeah, some of the reasons why I got it. So, um, I really like that it was a lot smaller than the Gauntlet 30. Um, I think this thing measures to about um, a little over 42 inches overall length. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a little over six pounds, which makes it a lot lighter than the gauntlet. Yeah, the 30. gauntlet is super heavy. It's a tank. It's, at some point, I'll like carry it for you guys. It just looks so unnatural. You <laughs> have such a big gun. Um, I also like this thing because um, I really like the Picatinny um, rail on the front of the stock here. So I do have a bipod for this, which I'll show you later. But that was a huge plus for me because I really, really wanted the bipod. Um, I also have a scope that I'll show you. But um, another thing that I really like about this one as opposed to the, the gauntlet is that it's really adjustable and tunable. Um, it has an adjustable hammer spring and regulator, which is pretty cool for how inexpensive this gun really is. But yeah. I want to, I really want to open it. I haven't open seen it. it yet, so <laughs> let's just get right to it. What are we waiting for? This box is a lot more exciting than the one mine came in. Really? Yeah, mine's just like brown. Okay, see. Black and white photos. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, and it comes with two mags. Dang. Oh my gosh, it's so light. I know it doesn't have the scope, but this is so light. There you go. Merry Christmas. Look at it! Oh my <laughs> god! See, hold it up. I love it! Look at this. Cool. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I really dig it. This is cool right here. Yeah, that's another thing that I really liked about it was this action. Oh wow, I love the look. Let of me see it how light so it is. Much. Yeah, that's a lot lighter. Is it lighter than your old gun? Well, this one also has the scope, but mm, actually, it's about the same. The same with the scope on that yeah. one. So that maybe one's actually a little, a little bit lighter. Maybe a little heavier. On on the gamma. Yeah, but that's obviously because of the scope on it. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. So it's comparable. That's good. And what about the height? Oh, it's even shorter. Yeah. Oh, I also have um, a suppressor for this thing. So that's going to add a little length, but like not too bad. All right. Well, let's set this thing up. We got a bunch of goodies for it. Yeah. Okay, wait. Then let me put this over here. And then we're going to move this to the workbench. Okay. Oh my god, it looks like you're shooting a shotgun. It feels so good. I just, I hope it's like this, like, manageable with the scope and bipod on it. Like, I hope it's not too... You're gonna have to send you to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll get a little bit heavier, but... You, yeah. But still... Oh, the it, bipods will help, because you'll be using those a lot. Yeah, I can't imagine I'm gonna be, like, standing up to shoot this thing. 
but who yeah, knows? we'll mostly be posted up sniping squirrels. Maybe in a pinch, it'll just be like, oh, right there. <laughs> Okay, now I want to get into some of the accessories that I have for this thing. But first, I thought I'd mention that also the magazines hold 10 22 cal rounds. Um, Danny's Gauntlet, I think, holds seven. Seven like rounds. 30 cal? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then there's also the little single tray. But we'll start up at the front of the gun here. So, this is the first thing I ordered, and I was super stoked about this. So, this is a buck rail suppressor. And what I love about it is that um, you don't need any of the adapters to make this thing work off of the front here. So, you just kind of take the cap off. It's good. Demonstrate it now. Yeah. Okay. And this is 3D printed, guys, so it's not like made of metal or anything, but it's also inexpensive. How much was this? This thing was like 24 bucks. Yeah, so that's that was perfect. Compared to like Donnie FL, which is like 100 bucks. And then, yeah, you need like the, For adapter. the adapters. Yeah, so oh, this thing has a lot of thread. All right. Go ahead. And then this thing just kind of goes into there like that. Oh, I love the way it looks too. So Danny has one on his gun, also like from Buck Rail. Yeah. And I'm really happy with it. It works good. So now, yes, now my gun has one. <laughs> cool. So that's what I want. Very competitive, aren't you? I am. I just. <laughs> You know, I got to just make mine line up to the gauntlet yeah, at this we'll, point. Yeah, we're going to do a shootout. We're going to have shootouts, and then we're going to also be testing this thing out at long range because we're going to be putting some slugs through it, which I guess I can show you right now. Um, I picked up three different types of slugs. These are just some pellets that we already had um, from the break barrel days. But, yeah, so I have the FX hybrid slugs here. So large hollow point. Then we have the javelin, which I wanted to try out because I heard a lot of good things about these. And then most recently picked up the varmint knockers. Yeah, these are supposed to be a cat's pajamas there. So I really want to <laughs> see what these do. So yeah, we'll, we'll do some tests with them, but um, mostly we're going to be doing some long range shooting. So 150 to 200 yards is what we're looking at because we have a uh, we have a squirrel problem at one of the properties and uh, we need to eradicate them. <laughs> yeah. so. Oh, and we got a, a video camera for the scope coming up, uh, Tacticam. Right. Yep, so it's in transit right now, a Tacticam, so that way we can get you guys some like, you know, in scope footage. But, I'll do the Speaking scope. of scope. I'll do the scope. So, this is my Hawk Vantage. Um, one of the reasons why I went with it was because... Hello? No. Is that your mom? Yeah. <laughs> one of the reasons... She know you're shooting guns? She knows. She, like, got the sense. <laughs> but I actually didn't pick this one myself. This is actually a hand-me-down from Danny. He upgraded his scope, and I thought this would be a perfect match for my gun because it was also like in the affordable range it was like one hundred seventy dollars 170 and so it's a second focal plane style scope i'll just pull it out you can see oh it's super nice yeah it's like take actually, these off it's actually really quality like it feels good yeah turn it around so you can see Pretty nice. Yeah, this is a good scope. It just, um, let's see if we can get a visual in here. But it has mill dots yeah, so it's that you can't see. But it has dot. mill dots, so there's no turrets here for adjustability for elevation or wind. Um, you just manually adjust it. What I did was I set this to 100 yards, so the gun was sighted in for 100 yards. And depending if I needed to shoot closer, like at 50, I just used like the third dot up at 50 and you just have to memorize what like 150 yards is versus 150 yards and um yeah that's the way you shoot one of these scopes 
I, I think it'll be perfect for me because I'm still so amateur, like getting into this. I just think it'll be fun to use those. Yeah. And then also, I forgot to mention this is the four by twelve power um, version. So. Four. All the way up to twelve. Twelve, and then right here is the parallax adjustment. Yeah. All the way on the front. So cool. Let's get this thing mounted up. We got some scope mounts here. Okay. These are mid, medium height mounts. So this should go good with this gun. Yeah. Let's bolt it up. Oh, you got bipods as well. That's what I really want to show everyone. I'm excited about it because look, as you can see, it's got the Picatinny rail here on the front. So it'll just go on super easily. This is the mag pull. And from what I've seen, cause Again, Danny has this on his gun, and I'm just copying his setup. <laughs> <laughs> um, this thing is really, really adjustable, which I like. Like, I think in the field, this is going to be kick ass. There it is. Rip it up. Yeah, look at this. So, well, we'll show you when it's actually mounted on, but this is it. And yeah, pulls out like this, and then you can loosen that, and then it can pivot, and you can adjust it. Like if you're on a hillside too, we'll show you once we get this on there. Okay. So that's about as tight as it needs to be. So now let's prop this thing up so that way I can um, mount the scope where it needs to go. Okay. This thing is so cool. This thing. All right, get get comfortable. Like, okay. pull your chin down here, or your cheek, mm -hmm. and then what we'll do is we'll move the scope to your eye, so we can like when you first draw the gun up. Yeah. You'll the scope will be in focus. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. That's crazy. So if we put it here, so is that where so you I'm, feel natural? This is like the most comfortable, I'd say. How far back do we need to go? Hang on, turn it this way. There we go. Mm, move it forward. Mm, move it back. That feels pretty good right there. Okay, I'm going to put a mark right here. Okay. Okay, so we just use the mark that Danny drew on to like sort of set this thing up. And right now I just have it really loosely in place so we can make further adjustments. But I just want to try it out to see if it's like in a comfortable spot now. So I put it like this and then I come up to it. Oh, that's perfect. It's nice and clear. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, because yeah. the last thing you want to do is be moving your face to the gun because it it's uncomfortable and you'll 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 have more accuracy like this. Yeah, no, this is this is perfect like that. Awesome. So cool. I can definitely see though that we gotta like tighten this down, adjust the crosshairs and then Yeah, put the rest of the screws in and then we'll yeah. um adjust the reticle for like true straight. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. You're gonna have to tilt the gun to mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's almost perfect. Tilt really? it to the right, clockwise. A little bit more. Whoa! All right, leave it pretty level right there. Yeah. Okay. Is that's that like the only way to level this gun, guys. I know it's not the best way, but yeah. that's what we got. There's just it's all round lines. The scope's already mounted. The only thing to go off of is this top rail here, um, and the Picatinny at the bottom. Yeah, at the bottom. So that's just how we're going to do it. You guys can do it however you want. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, now we got to go put a piece of tape over on the wall. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. So look through that scope and tell me when you can see me with the tape. Okay. Look through here. I'm trying to... Nope. Oh, sort of. See it anywhere? Yeah, hang on, let me use my eye. Hang on. Yep, you're like right. right about there. Don't don't move the gun. Yep. Got it? So I'm gonna do it about right here. Okay. Is that like in line with the reticle? Yep. Okay. Now I'm just gonna use this level to get this piece of tape straight. Wow, how did he nail that on the first try? 
So we got the piece of tape on the wall. We know that's level. Mm -hmm. We know the gun is level. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so now we just got to adjust the reticle to the tape. Okay, check it out. Look, you kind of like nailed it, like right in line. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Years of experience, guys. Years of experience. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. But it needs a, just a little tweak. Just a little tweak. Okay. I'm going to zoom out because we're too zoomed in here. Okay. Oh wow, that's pretty close. Whoa! Oh yeah, that's <laughs> nice. That's nice. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Don't touch the gun! I'm like so delicate. Yeah, that's like right there, that's the money. And there it is, that's a dead squirrel right there. Cool. I actually really like the mill dots. I like them. It's gonna be fun. It's you ready? Fun. Yes. Can't wait to shoot some squirrels with you. I know. Okay. So now what do we gotta do? Is that it? Uh. Set up? Now we gotta just shoot it, I guess. Okay. Well, we gotta fill it up with air. Fill it up, and then what slugs do I go with first? Well, you're gonna have to test all of them. This thing is like what rated to like 300 bar, I think. Yeah, so what is it, 3,000 or 4,350 yeah. PSI? Yeah, PSI. So, oh, I hate this. Here it is. This is so nice. Looks good. Everything looks good together the scope, the bipod, the suppressor. I can't say enough good things about this from Buck Rail though because. You don't need an adapter. Yeah. And it looks great. And it was cheap. So we'll see if it works. It's yeah. got to work too. Yeah. But we'll test that in another video when we actually go shooting and do some long range stuff. Cool. Well, we'll do 100 yards first. Okay. And then we'll yeah. see if it can make it out to 150. Step it up from there. And then maybe even 200. Yeah. I've shot my gun at 200 before. Oh, then I have to. And it grouped decent. I have to do it. I think it's capable. I think it can. Yeah, it'll reach out that far. It's cool. But yeah, so anyway, this is my first PCP. I'm just getting into the game now. So this is the Air Venturi Avenger, all set up. Hawk Vantage scope, Magpul bipod, buck rail suppressor. All this stuff works together. So if you're looking for a setup for your gun, check these out. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit.